Ja. Hello, Internet. This is Chase Pebworth. We're here at my home in the kitchen. And it's Coronavirus Quarantine 2020. So I want to take this opportunity to show you how I make my own personal old fashioned. So first, you need your Disneyland, Disney World, Walt Disney World uh, 25th Anniversary Cup. It's the right size and shape for this beverage. Right. And you gotta fill that sucker up with ice cubes. So look in your freezer and see if you got any. Oh boy, kinda low. Here's some. Right next to the blackberry brandy. Okay. Get out your ice cube tray. And I'll try and get a good shot for you here. You take it and you break up, break it up like that. And then I take them out one by one, put them in the glass like, just like that. Mm -hmm. And you want to fill it up good because this is a drink. You want a lot of ice, a lot of booze, not too much wash. Turns out pretty good. So, since this is southwest Wisconsin, what we're going to do is make a Kessler Old Fashioned. Here it is, the Kessler. So, we're going to take this and fill it up, oh, I don't know, about halfway. Mm, yeah, something like that there for me, that's how I like them. And then we need to get our bitters and our sugar water. So, regular Angostura aromatic bitters. And you're just going to put a few shakes in here. So, yeah. Something like that. And it gets that nice color. Nice, rich brown, red, orange color to it. And then take your sweetener, sugar substitute. In this particular one, you use about 20 drops. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Something like that there you got. And that's going pretty good. Next, put your bitters and your sugar back in your fridge and get out your mixer. So this is an old fashioned sweet, so I'm going to use 7-Up, but I uh, avoid the sugar, so I've got Diet 7 along with the uh, uh, sugar substitute, so this is a sugar free old fashioned. Just top that off, that's too much wash for the people in my family, but uh, I like to have a, a few of them, so a little more wash doesn't hurt too bad. So now we've got all the ingredients in the cup, we're just going to take and stir it up. Now normally, you'd also want to garnish this with some uh, a cherry and an orange, be a good garnish, or maybe mushrooms, olives, whatever you like. But I'm just going to do it as is. I don't got no garnish on me today in my house. And uh, that concludes this old-fashioned making video. Cheers. Stay safe out there.